factors when it comes to when President Trump will take the vaccine, vaccine because he's not quite out of that 90-day window. Public health experts say that people should wait about 90 days between when they get infected with coronavirus and when they receive the vaccine. And so doctors aren't necessarily recommending that he get it right now. But we aren't hearing much from President Trump in the meantime. In fact, he's done very little to promote the vaccine, to encourage people to receive it once it becomes available for them to do so. That's really a proactive role that's being taken on by other members of his administration as Trump remains focused on his election-related grievances and largely out of the public eye during what should be a triumphant w week for him and for this White House as the vaccine is rolling out in states across the country. Now, Vice President Mike Pence, as you mentioned, received the vaccine on camera yesterday, and he assured people speaking afterwards that the science behind the vaccine is sound. Vigilance and the vaccine is our way through. And building confidence in the vaccine is what brings us here this morning. While we cut red tape, we cut no corners. Now, this comes as the administration is confronting what the experts call vaccine hesitancy, that is, people's reluctance to get in line for the vaccine when it becomes available. And the New York Times is reporting that, that is most prominent among Republicans, that polls show that Republicans are the most skeptical of receiving the vaccine, but could be perhaps the most receptive to a, an overt move by President Trump to promote that vaccine. Now, yesterday, Surgeon General Jerome Adams and the Second Lady also received their vaccine. And Adams tweeted yesterday that he hoped mistrust and misinformation would not lead people to make poor decisions when it comes to the vaccine. So there is that effort to, to overcome the misinformation that pe have led people to be skeptical of taking the shot. Trump, meanwhile, has no public events on his schedule this weekend, so we, he is expected to remain largely behind closed doors again uh, as the vaccine continues to roll out. Victor and Christy. All righty. Sarah Westwood, we appreciate it so much. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Well, I guess if you had any doubts, you can cast them out. Thanks for sitting in on another episode of Stirring It Up with Tierra Monique, political edition. And we found out now why Trump hasn't taken the vaccine. Are you taking it? <laughs> Did you like the video? If so, please hit like and subscribe. And please don't forget to leave a comment. And if you care, share. Until next time, bye.